Okay, so I want to revisit this polymerization experiment and this time I want to run few samples simultaneously and basically see more in detail what happens here. So far I have only prepared the concentrators as I did previously and I have another one with two times the triethylamine concentration and in this amount it's really one tenth of a gram so we'll see if that has any effect so I want to run concentrate here and here with two times triethylamine amount here I want to run with two times the amount of concentrate and here as well two times as amount of this one with two times triethylamine amount here I want to have control with triethylamine only now I also have this, it's 2,2-dimethoxy-2-phenylacetophenone and they say that this should be high performance photo initiator well I did some tests already and it's pretty terrible I think it performed worse maybe even than benzyl I also wanted to make this from scratch well from scratch, from benzyl because that's theoretically possible but I failed at synthesizing trimethyl ortoformate so I said nah not, not worth the effort probably Well, here is my waist, so I wasn't very precise here. <laughs> anyway, so what do I expect to happen? Probably... <laughs> Good question. Well, this will probably polymerize as first. It's quite likely that either of one of these, then this, probably, probably this, 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 then uh, some of these will polymerize I mean 2% is what I have read recommended amount so if I would guess then these two, these two, these two will be like completely fucked I guess and these three I mean this will maybe start to polymerize and these two will not now this with benzoyl peroxide maybe about same time as this if it, if it does start to polymerize and this will never polymerize this okay now here's the thing okay and we will yep it works checking alignment because I had I probably probably drilled this PCB by hand and it's not very very great as evidence that here is missing line of LEDs and I predicted them to be there but I have this box for like Jesus like 10 years maybe insane seems to be very much useless Anyway, it's very strange and I can, yeah, I can see it. I can see that these four are very much absorbing almost all radiation from these LEDs. I mean, these were yellow, so no wonder, but still, that's very strange. So, these two seems to be done, seem to be done, but it's quite strange because, uh, what's this? This one is 8%, this one is 2%. Why? Like, I don't understand. Okay, now, <clears throat> 
Now as I'm looking in, this one is starting to polymerize. As you can see it's it's solid and this one is starting to polymerize as well. And how about this? This one is still quite liquid. Okay, that's that's very close time range actually. So Okay, so are we done yet? This took like for fucking ever and still pretty much nothing. So let's see. This one seems to be done. Okay, let's let's go here. This is Benzil. Shall we? Okay, let's at least check if there was any polymerization here. Yep. There definitely was. It's quite unexpected because I would think that... Yeah, this definitely must have been like polymerized a bit. Yep. Like this is very viscous. As you can see there is I mean same here Okay, what's this? This is triatolamine, there is definitely nothing. Yep, there is nothing. Uh, come on, fuck me. Don't want to press on you on the LEDs. Okay, so this is three five. This is metacrylate pure. So there will be nothing definitely. Yep, there's nothing. And this is. Metal metacrylate with benzoyl peroxide. Yep, no surprise. There is some polymerization, but it's it's very meh. It's mostly due to due to heat from the LEDs. But this this benzoyl is very strange. It should like should be polymerized already. Yeah. So this is quite strange that one four is much less polymerized than one three. I mean, kinda. Yeah, it is strange. One two is quite a lot, and one one is not very much. Okay. The thing is that one one and one four did not have too much in common, like nothing at all really. Okay, so one three seems to have best color, like it's most transparent, even though it's twice the concentration of this. That's strange. Okay, so this is new solution. This is okay. I was thinking that. It has been photo bleached quite a bit, but it doesn't look like it is. At least not significantly. So I now know less than I knew when I started probably because because I had never trouble polymerizing benzyl. Like it took like 
hour and a half that's for sure but I never had any problems it's true again that this is new batch of Benzyl previously I used different batch This is methyl metacrylate that has been polymerized with benzyl, the old batch that worked somehow. And this has been left on direct sunlight for about two months at least. And it didn't really change color at all. On the other hand, this piece is benzyl dimethyl ketal that has been left on direct sunlight and I think that these two colors were probably about the same and this has yellowed very much but on the other hand it is very bad quality like the concentration was very high and I don't know if you can see probably if I cut this the molecular weight is very very low so as you can see this is like very brittle and can I cut it so I don't cut myself let's try yeah this is this is very bad quality so what happened with this piece probably is that it just started to polymerize when all methyl metacrylate has evaporated due to heat generated and like it was exposed to open atmosphere and so the, there is a lot of benzyl dimethyl ketal that did not initiate polymerization yet and as it was exposed on, on sunlight it has started to break down and yellowed so like this piece where there is 8% of benzyl dimethyl ketal there is good chance that it will yellow quite a bit on the other hand here when there is like 1% probably, I don't think it will yellow anymore. This is piece 3 one that I liberated from glass tube and as you can see it's very hard plastic, quite scratch resistant. Ah, that's pretty impressive. But... Also you can shave off bits probably won't be possible with yeah with this thing so you can see that it cuts pretty much like wax like very very hard wax but this is sign of very good polymerization basically so I'm not sure what's the conclusion but I probably would uh, experiment with like 2% as baseline and then play with concentration of triethylamine because this could be interesting so this guy very not bad I mean the 30 minute polymerization time is quite encouraging and I think I should get my hands on BPO and that is really state of the art initiator at least like a few years ago it was like technology right and see what I can do now this thing took like two months to get for to me it's synthesized here in Europe so I guess it takes some time so yeah my point is that it will take some time until I get my hands on BPO so yeah until then I guess I will do something different yeah so see you next time